Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for uh, for uh, taking a couple minutes of your day to watch this video. Just for you, I'm gonna pour myself a glass of wine here and enjoy this watch as it is one of the last days I'm gonna own this watch. Cheers to all of you. Clearly this is a Laurier Neptune, which you knew that because you clicked on the video and I am not new to Laurier products. As you can see, I have a bunch of them, including my wrist check for today, which is the latest Laurier product, the Worn and Wand uh, Laurier Hydra 2 with that gorgeous metal dial. But this is about this lovely piece, Laurier Neptune. I had this for about two years, I would say. And uh, I am saying goodbye to this watch because it has not been getting a lot of wrist time. It's been sitting in my box with watches for a while. Uh, even though I really like this watch, there's only one reason and one reason only why I'm getting rid of this watch. It needs to go to somebody who is gonna wear it and enjoy it the way I did a while back. And the only reason this watch is going out is because of my other wrist check, which is the Tudor Black Bay 58. I'm not gonna do a review on this because I've already done one, but this is the number one reason my Laurier Neptune is leaving my collection. It's unfortunate, but at the same time, there's no reason for this to just sit there in a box when somebody else can really enjoy this watch. This is such a pretty watch though. I'm in a way gonna miss it, but it's just not fair. Not fair for this to just sit there. It's, I would say a perfect dive watch the perfect everyday watch. You obviously know by now the Laurier sizes if you clicked on this video it's a to my for my hand a perfect 39 millimeter watch 47 it's about 12 with this lovely dome it's an acrylic crystal has those beautiful gilt hands Oversized crown, screw down crown. It looks and feels quality. Unidirectional bezel. That works really nice. I'll just leave it here. And I adore this watch. I wore this watch for a long time. So I just wanted to give you some, just some of my opinions on this watch after wearing it and enjoying it for um, almost two years. This was my first Laurier watch. Now this was Laurier's first watch also. A little bit of history on them. They've been around for a couple of years. They do make really good quality um, watches. I have a video just on my experience with them, if you want to click, it'll be up top. I'll put a, a link for that. This was my, was my first watch, and I really enjoyed this. For a long time, I wore this watch pretty much every day, and I started buying more and more watches, and then this kind of took a, a back seat to other, other watches. But when I had my eyes set on the Black Bay and I purchased it, the poor Laurier has just been sitting there. I found a gentleman on Instagram who, where I spent a lot of time with watch guys, and he um, he had interest in buying one. And I said, well, you know what? I might as well just give you mine because it just sits in the box and it's just not right. Somebody needs to enjoy this watch every day because it is truly worth the $500 
that this watch costs new. You can buy them used, obviously, for you know less than that. But there's not much out there at this price range that looks and feels this nice. Let me put this on my hand quick. I'll show you what it looks like on my hand. I think on my hand it looks really nice. Um, my wrists are uh, six and three quarters. And for my size wrist, this watch looks looks pretty good, I think. Has a really nice vintage inspired dive look. And one of the most amazing bracelets, something that Laurier is known for. A lot more amazing than the Tudors, I tell you that. As you can see, my Tudor is not on a Tudor bracelet, it's on a Jubilee. That is very comfortable. And I love this watch. Now, let me put these watches a little bit side by side and just let you, you know, give you just a little bit of comparison, even though it's not a fair comparison. Tudor to a Laurier. Uh, these, this shouldn't even happen, but you can see some of the, the things that they have in common. They're both obviously divers. They both have the same um, indices. Obviously, the tutors are in, encased. This is uh, printed, and then it is filled with amazing loom, actually. Uh, Laurier has really nice loom. I know we're talking about that. I might as well just show you what it looks like. I'll give you my tutors also. Even the tutor has more of a vintage, vintage-inspired... Uh, loom compared to the Laurier. Laurier has BGW9 and it looks stunning. And the Tudors is obviously stronger, but looking at the prices, you know, difference, uh, it should be better. Uh, but Laurier's loom is known for being amazing. And it lasts, you know, it lasts, you know, pretty long. I really love the crown on this watch. I wish Tudors was a little bit bigger, but it's not, but it, it, it feels amazing. Um, the case on the Laurier is very, very nice. It slims down so nice. Has a two, uh, 20 millimeter lug width, so this goes really nice with all kinds of NATOs and all kinds of leather and, um, rubber whatever you want it looks amazing on this watch the crystal and the distortions are just priceless you cannot get this from sapphire unfortunately distorts light so beautifully any negatives um I'm struggling to find a negative for this watch. Maybe a little bit the clasping for this watch. You know, it feels great. It just feels, you know, it should. It feels like it should be a little bit better. Maybe an extension. It only has three micro adjusts. It could you really use four because your hand would will uh, expand, you know, in heat and so forth. But the head of the watch, I really don't have any complaints at all. So that's it. I really enjoyed this watch. I would not sell this if I wouldn't have bought the Tudor Black Bay. And uh, my best friend told me, you're going to regret that, man, selling this watch. He might be right. Because I really enjoy this. Um, I also have the Hydra, which I'm not planning on selling the Hydra anytime soon. A little bit more distortion, thicker case. Still a 39, but a little bit thicker. I also have Laurier's Hydra 2 and the Gilt. And obviously I have the Gemini, which is a fully manual wine watch. It looks amazing, it feels amazing. So it's not like I'm, I'm selling 
a Laurier and I'm not gonna have any more Lauriers to enjoy. I have plenty to enjoy, so I found it just only fair for this to go to somebody who's gonna keep it on their hand. It's not right to just keep it in the box there. I wear all the other ones. I haven't worn this because every time I put this watch on, you know, the tutor is just, you know, screaming at me and it is what it is. It's gonna go to a new home and it's gonna be enjoyed by somebody else. But it's a, sure is a, a, a cracker of a watch. I'm gonna raise my hand to Laurier and, and their designs and their quality because they are amazing watches. It's pretty much all I got. It's a lovely watch if you have the opportunity to buy one and you're thinking, oh, no, no, it's gonna work. This is gonna work for you. As it worked for me and many, many others. If you're looking for a vintage inspired watches with really nice quality and acrylic, which has a different look, different feel to, to the watch. Beautiful uh, uh, gilt look, really nice <clears throat> bezel. A little bit on the thinner side, but even, you know, you can see even with my gloves, you know, you can grab, you know, grip this really nice. Not that much, very little back play, not that much back play for this watch. Amazing piece. <clears throat> All I got for today, Tudor killed my, my enjoyment for this watch. And rightfully it should, because it's, you know, it's almost 10 times the price. <laughs> so, <clears throat> Yeah, the Tudor is an amazing, amazing tool. Obviously more of a Rolex <clears throat> uh, product and look. The inspiration for the Laurier is obviously a little bit of a Submariner, as you can see in the, in the, in the Laurier Neptune. So yeah, it's a lovely piece. You would enjoy this if you're looking to buy one. I suggest you do. Even if you keep it for a year or two like me, at least you had it and you enjoyed it. That's all I got. Thank you for um, coming in today and watching this video. And um, I have others, if you wanna scroll to the other ones and give this video a like or subscribe or whatever you like. And I'll see you on the next video. Cheers to all of you. And uh, have yourself a good day.